uh, where a party that's always been concerned uh, for working people's interests, working people who are using our transport up and down the country, who don't want to see strikes, and of course working people working within the railways. Uh, in the end, we're not in government. This is a matter for the government, Network Rail and the unions themselves. And what we've been absolutely clear on is the government should be leading and encouraging negotiations, not stoking this dispute for their own political reasons. That's what's happening. It's not for Labour to determine the outcome of this, but it is for us to say, get around the table, negotiate. None of us want to see about strikes. Him. None of us want to... Uh -huh. Uh, hurt people. Forgive, forgive me. Hang prices, about a bit. Got to get to work. I, di I didn't ask you what you'd do if you were in government. I asked you whether you su whether the Labour Party supports the demands of another part of the Labour movement for a seven percent pay increase and a guarantee of no compulsory redundancies. That's nothing to do with it whether you're in government or not. It is whether you support the demands of another Labour movement institution. What is the answer? Yes or no? Just to say, I, I don't want confusion for people listening. The RMT is not affiliated to the Labour Party. Oh, um, the, the, the uh, RMT so is not a member of the, part of the Labour movement. <laughs> it, it, uh, I've been clear, Trevor, that it is not for Labour to predetermine the outcome of this. Of course, we're in a cost of living crisis. There'll be workers up and down the country who want to see an interest in their pay. And this is not just about pay. It's also about redundancies. Uh, it's also about conditions. There are a raft of issues that workers are concerned with right across the country. It's not for Labour to intervene in each one and pretend that we can negotiate or that we are on the detail of that. We aren't, is the truth of this. And if we were in government, we would get around the table. We would not play union. That is the truth of being a serious opposition that wants to eventually persuade the British people they want to run the country. Yeah, I, I'm not asking you to intervene in, in disputes. I'm asking you whether you support... Uh, a, you, you said to me you're essentially the Workers' Party, and I'm just asking what your attitude is to the demands of a group of workers. Because uh, you see what the problem is here. It's not that you are intervening in every dispute, but you don't seem to be... Uh, keen on taking a view on any of them. Um, I, I'm going to be talking to Dave Ward of the minute, Communication Trevor, Workers... Trevor, can I just Let me finish my Trevor, question. I... Uh, I'm going to be talking to Dave Ward of right. the Communication Workers' Union in a moment. His members have turned down the 5.5% offer of uh, pay rise from the post office. Are you going to back them if they ballot f uh, pro for strike action? Every grown-up in the country watching this programme knows that this is a negotiation. Uh, and I'm afraid it is not always the position that one party to that negotiation gets what they want. 